people. Um, for the first video, I just want to get into like, I don't know, just weekly updates or whatever for all my animals I have, reptiles. Um, I have one, why am I struggling? Um, I have one Vibrador. Um, I have African fat tail gecko, and I have Brooks king snake, and also a variable king snake. So, um, I don't know what this video is gonna be about, honestly. I don't know if I'm gonna have feeding clips, B-roll, but I'm gonna try. Um, but yeah, let's get into it, I guess, I don't know. All right, so this enclosure right here, um, it's for Medusa, my Viper Boa, as you can see. Um, I try to go bioactive and live planet, and um, yeah, it turned out great. Like, pretty much amazing. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, yeah, as of right now, she's like, um, I'll say like a foot and a half, maybe. Um, maybe just a foot, honestly, cause she's not, she's not that big, honestly. And she spends most of her time like under here. And if I lift it up, she would probably be like right there, but I'm not even gonna try and take her out right now, unless, you know, actually, nah. But yeah, um, she's under this high right here. Um, don't know if you're gonna be able to see her or not, but she's like, yeah, she's right there, honestly. She's beautiful, really beautiful. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you. She's like brown with golden, I don't know, it's, it's, it's different. It's like, she's like a brown, chocolate brown, then I don't know. She's she's different. I don't know. She's different. But yeah, that's um that's Medusa in her enclosure. She's in a oh yeah, she's in a um Exoterra large 36 by 24 by 24, if I'm not mistaken. Or 36 by 24 by 18. I don't know. I don't know. But it's an Exoterra large, like wide and all that. So I don't know what the actual dimensions are, but I know it's around both of those, which I just said. This is her, and she is looking beautiful, dude. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie to you. God dang. It seems like she got lighter, but she has like a little scar right like there. Um, she was a wild caught, but I mean, she's healing decent. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, she's just, she's really amazing. I'm not, oh my gosh, so crazy. So this enclosure right here is for Calypso, my Brooks King Snake. Um, don't know if Calypso is a boy or a girl. Hope Calypso is a girl, honestly. Just fits, you know, the name. But he or she is buried underneath all of this. Um, she's usually like back there in that area or whatever. But no, sometimes she'd be over here as well. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, I can probably give you some feeding shots. Maybe, maybe not. She's a little skittish very defensive as well um yeah this is this is her enclosure i mean i want to change it up but i feel like it's good for right now and what you know the king snake needs but yeah
This enclosure right here is for Aries. My variable king snake. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see him in there. I don't even think he's in there. Might be tripping. I think I am tripping. Oh yeah, he's, he's definitely under there. Okay, so like he's under this hide. Um, that's usually the cooler hide. I keep it more humid than, you know, over here. Oh yeah, I'm sorry about the glare and all that. But yeah, he's he's honestly, I don't know. I don't like to have favorites around here, but he's a pretty cool dude. He's not really that scary, but um yeah, he comes out most of the time, more than Calypso does. I mean Calypso, she'll come out at night, probably, you know rummage around looking for the mice and whatnot, even though, you know, feed them once a week. So yeah, she just does the snake things and what, whatnot. And so does Aries, you know, he does the snake is what I like to say. He just slither around being snakes and all that. That's what, you know. That's what I like out of a good snake. Just slithering around, not knowing why they slithering. Looking for food and water and just, you know, rummaging around. But yeah, to wrap it up, clip, I mean, not clip, so, um, Aries is a male. I got proven by, by the breeder. Um, gosh, I wish I knew the name, but if I remember, put it in this video, I'll put it at the bottom somewhere, um, of the people that I got Calypso from, not Calypso, God, mm, I got Calypso from, was it, was it Petco? Yeah, I got it from Petco. Got him or her from Peko. Aries, I got from a breather. Um, like I said, I'll put it at the bottom. Oh yeah, Medusa over there. Um, got her from a breeder. N yeah, no, 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 no. It wasn't a breeder. But yeah, I got Medusa from um some people breeders. But she was, she was um wild caught. Yeah, she was wild caught and whatnot. Um. Then they kept her for like four or five months. Then they put her at a Repticon auction or, you know, vending. And I had to get her. Cause thing was like, I was already interested in them. But at the same time, I was just like, I don't know. Like she was big bucks. I ain't gonna lie. She was, she was a hefty price for a boy at the time of you know the finances so i know if i should get her or not and plus i don't know because at the same time i was stuck on getting something else but i don't know but i'm glad i have her though like i'm really glad i love the whole 
um, I don't even know how to say that genus. I think it's Kendo Kendodia, Kendonia, I don't know. But, you know, she's just, Medusa's cool in her own way. You know, she's like, she's a little, um, uh, you know, she's just, she just chills, man. That's what it is. She just chills, and I like that about her. She's just, that's all she do, and that's all we need of her to do. You know, she's cool. But when you have Calypso and Aries, you don't need a snake like Medusa to be all up willy-nilly and all that. So, you know, she's boring, but I love her. She's pretty cool. When you see her, you see her. It's amazing. She has beautiful colors. All that. Yeah. Um, Calypso, this is the homie. Like, the homie and whatnot. You know? He's just he's just that guy. Or, gra or gal. Yeah. Either that guy or gal. Um, yeah, that's, that's really all I can say about them two and Aries. You know? Just being Aries and whatnot. I'm actually kind of surprised he's out, but oh, there he goes. Yeah, this is my African fat tail gecko, Osiris. Um, he doesn't really like to come out much. He's very skittish of me. I got him from a reptile shop over here in Atlanta. Well, not really Atlanta, but like the Buford area, but we just call it Atlanta because you know how Georgians are. Everything is Atlanta and Georgia, to be honest. I ain't gonna sit here and lie to you about that. But yeah, um, I had to downgrade him from the forefront enclosure cause um, he wasn't doing too well for me. As you can see, his tail is skinny, but he's still, he's not skinny, it's just his tail. Um, really need to find him up, thought I'd bring him to a smaller enclosure to, you know, um, see if he can find food better. I was gonna put him in the fourth, like I had him in a four foot enclosure because I really thought that I was gonna get a female and I wanted them to have plenty of space for them to leave each other alone if one of them didn't want to be with each other, mostly the female to get away from the male, but you know, they weren't available or whatnot. And I could never find a female. I didn't want to do it online because I mean, yeah. I wasn't really, wasn't really too much of a fan of the online buying because it was just, I don't know, it's just so many things that could happen. And I was like, F that. But even though I can't handle him, when I see him, he's pretty cool, you know? There are a couple times where I had to handle him and he was, I mean, he's more accepting of me now than when I had first got him. like. He let me handle him from this, from the four foot enclosure until this enclosure. So, I mean, it's not bad. We're working on it. We got plenty of time together. So, you know, we gonna be friends one day, maybe, hopefully. Or well, at least he could tolerate me. I don't know, but yeah. As for this enclosure, this is what, oh shit. Um, sorry, Um, as for this enclosure, this is the one I had the African fat tail gecko in. I mean, not, it didn't look like this. This is for another animal down the line, if I do get it. The Solomon Island tree boa, you know. But, um, yeah, I had switched it around. I mean, if I can post some old pictures of or videos of the old enclosure in which he was in. I can do that if you want it. Actually, this is a video, I wouldn't know. Um, but yeah, this is the new revamped enclosure for a tree boa. And I feel like it looks good, but you know, I want more hides in there. Cause you know, I feel like they need to be able to, I just feel like it's too exposed. That's really what I feel like, it's just, all out in the open and like if it's a tree boy it wants to feel secure in a tree you know i might put 
fake plants, but I really don't want to do that. I hate fake plants for some reason. I have a fake plant in Aries enclosure just because like, I mean, it's a 10 gallon. I'm not trying to deck it out or make it look beautiful. And plus he's gonna grow, you know what I'm saying? So I don't, you know, it's cool. It's cool. And I mean, okay, okay, I, I forgot to say something. Um, Bioactive, bioactive, bioactive as well. Um, Live plants, boom, boom, bam, bop. So yeah, that's what, that's, you know, I, I don't even know why I spent as much time just covering this enclosure. There's nothing in it, but hey man, this is, this is the future of, you know, whatever goes in here. And if you have feedback, of course, like, let me know things that I can improve on and all that. So, um, that sums up pretty much the video. I don't know by this time if I drew feeding clips of Aries or Calypso. Um, Medusa, she, I don't know if she would eat, um, but I mean, she eats live rats anyway, so I really wouldn't want to show that because you know, some people like it, other people hate it. So, I mean, if you want to see it, you just let me know. But yeah, this is it. Um, yeah, I mean, just a little bit about myself, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm 21. Um, I like reptiles, as, as you can see. Um, I got a kid. Um, um, I got a job, you know, um, electrician, so, you know, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um,